What's up guys, welcome back to Mr. Tech Boss uh, and in this video I'm gonna be uh, giving you guys the first impressions and the quick look or first look of the Xiaomi EU uh, MIUI 12, the first build running on the Redmi K20 Pro. So without further ado, uh, let's jump right in. Okay, so guys, before we uh, start, uh, I want to tell you that there are some bugs uh, which I'll be leaving at the end of this video. So you can uh, skip to that part first uh, and then later on decide whether you want to install it or not. So yeah, so the, uh, let me uh, tell you guys quickly the, the installation process. So what you need to do is download the ROM, link is in the description. Then if you are using TWRP regular one, just swipe to factory reset. Otherwise, you can go Delvic system, uh, cache and data. And then just wipe these four partitions and then wait for it then basically just flash your ROM so it's in this case it's this one right here so as you can see this is it so just flash it and uh, yeah I'll just uh, skip through this one okay so guys as you can see it's almost done so this flashing process is gonna remain for same for all the devices so you can join the telegram group from the description or hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions for any other device or just leave a comment down but uh, yeah it's almost done so let's just wait a second Okay, so once it's installed, you can flash Majisk if you want to. It's up to you. So uh, I'm gonna see if I have it. I'm gonna flash it, cause why not? So let's just flash Majisk. Oh wait, actually I'm not gonna flash it right now. So uh, after that, what you wanna do is just go ahead into uh, menu and then mount, uh, no, not mount. Just go back, wipe, I mean uh, menu, manage partitions, click on data, then yes, and then format data, and then yes, and then just reboot. So guys, once it boots up, it is a bit of a weird thing because this is the Google uh, setup. But anyway, let's just continue through it and see how this goes. So I'm going to choose my Airtel number, Airtel, and let me just connect one second. Okay, so guys, I'll uh, go through the setup real quick and uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so guys, I just booted and I noticed that uh, they have completely removed the, the Xiaomi setup thing. But let's see uh, the, what gestures they have. Uh, it, hopefully they have the new ones. And uh, let's go full screen display. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's good to see that they have, they are using actually the new gestures. Wait, what's wrong? Okay, so guys, as you can see, these things are these are not working for some reason. So what I'll try to do is uh, do a quick reboot while turning while these turn these are turned on. So let's see. The phone just rebooted, and uh, yes, these things the gestures are working fine right now. As you can see, I'm recording not at 60 FPS because people told me it's better to just record at 30. So I'm recording right now at 30, but I can tell you right now from first impressions. They are pretty smooth, uh, just like I said for the MIUI, the Chinese version. And then later on, it turned out that there were some stutters in the first build. But the third, this ROM is based on the 30th uh, Apple build. And let's see if the, they have fixed the volume slider bug. And so as you can see, there is this volume slider bug still. So uh, it's not like, obviously it's the first beta and it's based on China. So this bug is in Chinese ROM as well. And then brightness level also there's this bug here and so yeah those two bugs other than that i think this rom is pretty good i mean uh, let me show you all the languages that are available in here down additional settings languages languages so okay so these are all the languages there are more languages than revolution os but um you can slow down but yeah, not a lot of languages, like not all the languages that normally there are. So yeah, let me see what else there is to talk and see, let's go here. And as you can see, it is indeed the uh, Xiaomi EU beta. And as you can see, it's all fine right now. So what I need to do is, um, 
So let's see if Google Assistant works. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. So it doesn't look like, okay, let's open, launch it. Okay. And now let's see if it's enabled. Just one second, guys. And uh, let's see if it works now. Hey, Google. Yeah, it's working. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. It does work. Uh, but anyway, so other than that, this ROM is better than China version. So just install this one. You don't need to think about it. And let's see if there are the super wallpapers, what Xiaomi calls it. Let's see if they're here. Let's go. Uh, okay, here are super wallpapers. And boom. Let's apply this. Turn on. And boom. Yep, it all works. It's better uh, than that. Uh, uh, all the links will be down in the description. And this was just the first impressions. So I have no clue about the battery life. And uh, right now, this ROM is uh, stable enough other than the this sound bug. You can obviously use the volume slider still to turn it on, turn it up and down. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's basically the Chinese ROM or optimized for English. And yes, the bloatware has been removed. And there is the, uh, I don't think this, oh yeah, so the theme store is still Chinese, but um, I don't know a lot, but uh, that's basically it. It does definitely feel a lot, uh, quite a bit smoother, at least right now, than the Chinese ROM, so uh, yeah. Okay, so guys, let me just show you that it is, uh, there are a few things in Mio i12, which I didn't show you in the last video, but uh, this is it. And in general, the UI is becoming more like, it's more schemorphic design, like more flatter design. And uh, obviously I talked about this in the last video as well. There's focus mode and everything. And there is game turbo. Okay, it looks like, yeah, it is the same game turbo, just in vertical orientation by default. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Let's see if it go, goes home pretty quickly. Yeah, it's the same and I'm not going to be installing the Chinese ROM again. So I won't be putting more updates about that. Maybe if there's a major update to Xiaomi EU, then I will put it out in the description. But uh, yeah. Okay, so guys, that's it for this video. Please do subscribe. And uh, if you want to be updated about the Xiaomi EU and uh, stuff related to Redmi K20 Pro. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, so you can join my Telegram group or hit me up on Twitter whatever i'll try to answer as many questions as possible so yeah just like my previous video but uh, that's basically it this is Fuzal Hamid from mr tech boss signing off